Hi guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my Sunday self-care routine. So this is kind of how I like to reset my week, relax, and just kind of treat myself. So let's go ahead and get started. On Sundays, I like to just take my time waking up. So whether that means just hopping on my phone really quick and just scrolling through mindlessly or just laying in bed for a couple extra minutes, it always feels really nice to just kind of greet the morning on my own time. Now when I'm trying to relax, I'll actually make tea instead of coffee. Tea is just a lot more soothing and I don't know what it is about tea, but whenever I have a cup of tea, I just feel like it's time to relax. So I kind of get into my relaxation mode. Now one thing that I like to do when I'm kind of focusing on myself or doing my self-care routine is read a book. I'm a big fan of Malcolm Gladwell books and of course little kitty wants to come and cuddle so this is just time for me. I find during the week I don't always have time to read books and I really love reading so it's nice just to take time out of my routine and crazy schedule and just read a book. As simple as that. And obviously, my little kitty is doing her self-care routine too. <laughs> By the way, she puts herself in the blanket. I don't do this. She just tunnels in there. Part of my self-care routine is to do something creative or artistic. On this particular day, I am making bath bombs, but I'll do anything from painting to crocheting, just something where I can create and kind of get my mind off the daily stressors. I think it's really important to have hobbies or just outlets where you can not only just create, but you can also do something fun. And I think little things like this are super enjoyable. I'm still trying to get my mixes correct, but once I do, I'll make a post on my website and share with you guys my little bath bomb recipe. I think we can all agree that a self-care routine is not complete without a little bit of skincare. And I've been trying out some different methods with my skin as well as new skincare products and lines, including this one called My Clarence, which just launched at Ulta Beauty. I mentioned this a couple videos ago, but I was testing out just rinsing my face in the morning with water since my skin is so dry, but it just felt a little weird. So instead I've been using this micellular cleansing milk and it is kind of a perfect medium. I'm able to gently cleanse my skin, but I'm also not stripping it. Next I apply the Reboost Moisturizer, which is rich in fruit extracts, which keeps my skin looking healthy and glowy the entire day. Now I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'll be talking about some more My Clarence products later on in the video, but that is what I do in the morning daily and I just like to keep it simple. But on days that are self-care days and I have more time, I love taking a bath. Here's one of my bath bombs and you can see how it turned out. Still a little crumbly and trying to figure it out, but it has a good amount of fizz and I find the jojoba oil is really moisturizing in it. Now on my self-care days, I take time in my bath to just let my muscles relax, to soak, to exfoliate, and also shave my legs. So I'm kind of just letting my body recover from the week and all the workouts I've done. During my self-care days, I like to take time to really treat my skin. So to start off, I'm taking the My Clarins Remove Purifying Cleansing Gel and I just cleanse my skin. Now this is a sulfate free cleanser which is super important when it comes to removing makeup and also not ruining the barrier of the skin. So I just take time to just massage this into my skin to really give myself a good clean and then I tone my skin. And this is something I just really take time to enjoy. Now this has to be the hero product for me from this My Clarins line and I am absolutely in love with this refresh mist. If I could buy this in like a huge giant bottle, I totally would because I absolutely love the mist. I love how it makes my skin feel and it just kind of adds that rush of moisture and since it is a lightweight watery type of texture, it's fast absorbing. So I get all those amazing ingredients directly into my skin and this is also something that I'll layer up on and do multiple layers and mists of this. So this is something I've been testing out and this is one of those scaling tools <laughs> and I'm still trying to get the hang of it but as you can see I've had a couple breakouts and just blackheads and excess sebum in general so I use this on my skin. It does have a red LED light which is supposed to be good for anti-aging and also help with blemishes so I just run this over my skin and since it's a self-care day I can take the time to really treat my skin and kind of give myself an at-home facial. And then <laughs> I go back in with the mist after I do that whole treatment and mist my skin again just to kind of calm it down and soothe it. 
Next, I use this clear out treatment and what this has in it is salicylic acid, which will help clear blemishes. And it also has meadow sweet extract, which is good for soothing the skin and helping calm down inflammation. So as you can tell, I have a lovely pimple on my chin, nice and big, it just popped up. So I'm treating it with this little spot treatment as well as kind of on my nose where I ran the scaler over. Now to seal everything in and kind of regenerate my skin on my self care day, I'm gonna be using the Recharge Relaxing Sleeping Mask. It is actually a very lightweight type of moisturizer. So for those of you guys who are kind of intimidated by the whole sleeping mask thing, I think this is a really good introduction to it. When it comes to skincare brands, I'm really excited about my clearance because they seem to be a very responsible skincare company. They're vegan friendly, all of their products are free of phthalates, parabens, and sulfates and they're eco-friendly because they incorporate recycled glass and plastic in their packaging. I'll put a link down below in the description box if you guys are curious about checking out my clearance. They are exclusive to Ulta Beauty and you can pick them up in store or at ulta.com. Now on self-care days, I love just doing what I call light chores. So this is kind of just like picking up around the house, washing blankets so I have some nice, fresh, clean blankets to cuddle and relax in later. Since I typically do my self-care days on Sundays, it's always nice to start the week off with a clean and tidy home. So that also includes washing dishes, which is like a very dreaded task for me, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do and wipe up around the kitchen, just kind of clean surfaces, get the crumbs off the counters, and just do, like I said, little light chores that just make my home feel a lot cleaner. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed my self-care routine. Let me know what your self-care routine is like. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.